Hey guys, I'm Kristen, the Anxiety Therapist, and on today's episode I'm going to be talking about two more cognitive distortions. Um, these really seem to be resonating with you guys and I've gotten some good feedback, so I decided to stick with this as a theme for a while, and there are definitely plenty to cover. Um, so. For those of you who might just be joining me um, and have missed the past few episodes, a cognitive distortion is basically a thinking error and it becomes such an automatic thought for us that we don't even consciously know that we're doing it. So it's important to learn about these and um, create some self-awareness about them so that we can sort of catch ourselves in the act and shift that thinking so that it no longer causes us anxiety or distress. Um, so the first one today is mind reading, and this is the belief that we know how others are thinking or feeling. So it involves making a lot of assumptions about someone else's internal state. Um, an example is, is um, a, a client of mine just recently attended a big networking event, and um, she works in a pretty competitive male-dominated industry. And so she left the event feeling like she didn't articulate herself well, she kind of fumbled over her words, she wasn't really effectively able to describe the research she was working on, um, things along those lines. So of course that led to these beliefs that, oh, everybody in my industry thinks I'm such a fool and you know, led to some imposter syndrome, thinking that she, she doesn't deserve to be working amongst those colleagues and um, that nobody is ever going to read her research or take her seriously. So a lot of these really negative beliefs and um, she she didn't have any evidence that these people were thinking her, of her in that way, right? She was engaging in a lot of mind reading and really what she was doing was sort of projecting her own insecurities about how she came across at the networking event onto other people and believing that the way she viewed herself was how other people we're also viewing her. So it's important to really um, look for evidence if, to determine whether other people are, you know, actually conveying that they perceive you in a negative way or if you're just making a lot of assumptions based on your own feelings and experiences. Um, the other one that kind of goes hand in hand with mind reading is personalization. And this is uh, when we believe that someone else's behavior is a reaction to us. Um, so let's say, for example, you know, your boss comes into your office to talk to you and maybe he's a little um, dismissive or aloof or um, kind of just seems a little bit off. You might start interpreting that as, oh, he's upset with me for some reason. You know, what, what did I last work on that, you know, may not have been up to his standards. And you kind of go through all of these scenarios trying to create an explanation for why he might be interacting with you in that way. But for all you know, he could be having an argument with his wife. He Maybe he has a, a kid who's sick at home. Maybe he got stuck in traffic and was late to his first meeting. You know, we have no idea what is going on um, in the lives of other people. And so again, to make those assumptions or um, kind of explain something away as being related to ourselves doesn't do us any good, right? Because then we start acting as though that's the truth and so we might modify our behavior or the way we interact with others uh, based upon an assumption and something that's not even grounded in evidence. So I hope um, that this was a helpful explanation and that you guys can start just kind of getting gaining more self-awareness um, when these types of thinking errors do creep up for you and you know the more cognizant you can be of when these thinking errors happen, then the more proactive you can be in sort of um, catching yourself in the moment and reframing those thoughts and, you know, asking yourself if you do have evidence, reminding yourself that you don't actually know how someone else is thinking or feeling um, and can kind of start working on shifting those automatic thoughts. So I hope this video was helpful. Uh, tune in next Friday for some more content and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Take care.